Hey everybody, my name is Katemo. Welcome back for another video of Star Wars The Old Republic. We're about to continue this series. I think we are uh, towards the end. We finished up with Voss. Uh, we gotta speak. We basically did all the missions we had to do uh, for our new contractor of the Empire, right? The, the Sith Lord. I'm pretty sure we're around the level 55 stuff and level uh, or 50, I should say. Level 50, I know for a fact that this is the max level for the game. So, uh, for the main story and everything. So, we're gonna travel to the Tyrant. But before that, we do have a couple of companions that want to talk to us. Actually, all of them want to talk to us. So, let's go ahead and just do that. I, w I do want to check really quick uh, this, the Carton Market. How many coins do I have? 700 only. It would be kind of cool if I could just, I don't know, have a new custom, uh, costume or whatever. Like, have a new outfit for my... For this last video because i'm pretty sure this is definitely going to be the last video or one of the last videos uh, if you guys want, don't want to see obviously or not interested in dlcs probably you are we'll see eventually but look at this shit, but i'm look awesome uh, i like this costume i just don't like the the cape thing which is why i'm kind of tempted to see if i can't change it up or something like that right uh, if i can't switch it up i I like the whole Mandalor Mandalorian thing, but I didn't like the colors of it. Uh, that's pretty much why I switched it up. Uh, probably, let me see the armors. All right, so armors, uh, the costumes and everything. So we got a, a really, a lot of cool costumes, uh, a lot of cool outfits and everything. But I kind of want to, um, they, they do all cost a lot anyways. I, I don't have the money for it. I'm, I'm still gonna have to wait it up. Yeah, I don't have any money for anything at all. Alright, well, let's, let's just keep what I have for now. I've been thinking running with you ain't so bad. More downtime than I'd like, but at least it ain't like being in the can. Too much time between killings on the inside. I wouldn't know. I have no intention of winding up behind bars. It has its ups. Best place to meet the real scum of the universe. Get connected. Lock up took me from the streets to the major leagues. I'll take your word for it. I prefer to meet my contacts through the usual channels. Doing a job don't get you leverage. Get someone on the inside to owe you. That means something. Shared a cell with a hut cartel gangster once. Helped him bust out. Got introduced to the family. Had a couple good years being an enforcer. Before the slimy two-faced slugs try to bump me off. Interesting. Well, I'm not sure that's for me, though. I'm not sure that uh, it's the whole bodyguard thing is for me. Michael, what do you want? Remember the guy Carl said was after her? Isaac, the one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss? Yeah, I remember. Target didn't show up. Hard to forget that. Everything else is sort of dead-ended. I thought maybe I'd try to see what I could find on him. He's SIS, no surprise there. So there's not much to find. Except for this. He's assigned to Project 32. The same project all my relatives seem to be associated with. You're, uh, you're a lucky number, I guess. You should head to one of Nar Shaddaa's casinos and play that number. Probably make some credits. Right now, I feel like maybe gambling isn't a great idea. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so... It don't be surprised if a lot of uniforms are looking for us. I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. A safer one, like, uh, Nexu grooming. Or, uh, Mako, man. She's been searched around the place. If you haven't noticed already, the dialogue's a little bit faster. The loading screen are faster. The loading screens, they no time. Uh, there was an update today uh, for the game. I guess they updated the game big time. Uh, it's smooth. It's running smooth as hell. I mean, I've got the graphics almost at maximum. Uh, the game is running smooth like crazy. Uh, the, the, everything is so fast. Like it's literally so fast, boys. You can I can tell the difference uh, on my part. That's for sure. Because uh, I I'm going a lot faster. The camera system. Look at this. How fast I can go. Um, dialogue is faster. Like I said, and the loading screens are just like instantaneous. It's, I, I don't know what they did to the game, but they just added an update and it looks like it's a big update because 
good lord the game is like super fast now i don't know why but i like it something on your mind family not much of clan Kader left aren't close either got spread out after the schism all right try the reunion we should arrange a gathering get the clan together never had reason to celebrate our heritage before Ordo, Kelborn, Atera, they all recovered. I think it was a shame they kept us apart. Feud settled now. Maybe it's time. Scene 15. Well, it's just, uh, he wants to do uh, some sort of family reunion. Uh, go ahead if you want to, I guess. Been thinking about something Coradan said. Thought he'd be seeing some real action again soon. You think he meant it? Or is that just talk? Uh, he's in the loop. You tell me. He's your friend. You'd know better than I would. Cordan means what he says, mostly. Could always be wrong, though. Almost hope he's wrong. This armor might not be up to a decent fight. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. Might hold up, might not. For Mandalorians, it's a second skin. We don't make our own. We customize it. Let's fix yours up. Seems like you might want to get to work on it then. I probably should. Never hurts to be prepared. This can wait. We ought to get to work. Alright then. Let's do this shit. I do want to see really quick on my things. Do I have like uh, armors that I kind of want to take again? We do have the plate savings, which is, I think is the thing I'm using right now, right? For the customization. I kind of want to resort back to... Well, I want to keep this. Maybe take my helmet. The helmet is Torian that has it. I, I liked having the helmet, the uh, Mandalorian helmet, but if Torian has it, I can't. I want him to keep it. So uh, let me just maybe take this. There we go. If I take this. All right. Let me see real quick. Uh, how much money do I have? I have 67,000. I actually have enough to uh, get rid of that. There we go. So I have enough to do that. What I'm going to do, obviously, I'm going to equip this. Uh, it's going to be much better. There we go. Now my mod here. Everything is a little bit better here on this end. And I can get rid of that because now that's useless. But it, it's worth a lot of money. So that's good. Um, now, this. I'm, cu I'm curious. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm curious if I just switch it up. What happens? How is it going to look? Uh, unify the colors. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't want to show the corruption. And hide the head slot. Yeah, I don't like that thing. So I'm just going to hide it. Alright, let me just see real quick. Actually, it looks pretty good. I like it. You know what? Yeah. I, I don't... The colors... I, I'm not a fan of the colors, right? The... Um, like, orangey colors and stuff. But it is what it is, I guess. Oh, let me just bring that back up in there. There we go. Let, uh, let's look at my look. All right. I like the pants. This is the thing. I like a lot the pants and the, the thing. It's just the, the torso. I didn't like it. Oh, actually, you know what? On the tyrant, they might be... No, I'm going to just travel to the tyrant. Fuck this. I'm traveling to the tyrant. Uh, there might be uh, on the tyrant, like, a sell, uh, salesman or something. There, there's got to be, right? I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? That's correct. Darth Tormund instructed me to rendezvous with a Tyrant here. Good, pay attention, we don't have much time. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. Really? It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Uh, what about the Sith Lord? I actually, I won't do it for free, that's for sure. You already know the deal. Let's get more specific about my pay. You'll get whatever I can give you. But not if we lose this ship. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormen and his soldiers can retake control. You're in good hands. This will be a cakewalk. Those Republic dogs are as good as dead. The borders are not your primary concern. No unnecessary risks. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. 
I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Well, looks like he's done for. Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. All right. Uh, div this down. Give, uh, guess we should help. All right, strap in. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then. <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. Alrighty then, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, board the tyrant, boys. Do this shit. No, uh, no messing around here. I'm gonna bring. Uh, I think, as usual, I'm gonna bring Skad in uh, with me. It's historian. I don't have his helmet. And does it, without the helmet, he doesn't really look like a Mandalorian. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, that's just how it is. He kind of needs the uh, Mandalorian helmet uh, to be better, but I, I want the helmet myself, right? I look. I would look better with the helmet on. I feel like too. Even though I'm, I'm looking fine without the helmet, I just need the helmet. That's all I'm trying to say. So Sketch, you're gonna be my partner here. Uh, for now. Let's me see real quick. Uh, can I actually buy just buy an helmet? Let's just see real quick, boys. Without uh, while we're at it, can I just buy the helmet? Let's just see. Uh, arm set. Uh, just just a headset. Mask. No. Nope. See, for just the mask, I would have enough, but I just want an helmet. Mandalore's the ultimate. Oh my! Oh my! Original. Uh, no, I don't want that. I just want an helmet. Mandalore, Hunter, Harmet, Armor, no. They won't give me... Yeah. What is that? Covert Energy Armor Set. That, that wouldn't do anything for me. Uh, what about... Uh, nothing. Dark Science. That's pretty cool. They've got all of these. Yeah, I don't know, boys. Oh, there we go. It could be one right here. Say this right here. That's the Erid Eridicator's mask. Not really Mandalorian mask, boys. I don't know. Let me just see real quick. I could probably... There's got to be one, right? The Mandalorian uh, armor set that uh, I can buy or something. There's really nothing. Can't find anything, boys. Okay, then. You know what? If I can't find anything... I guess uh, I'll just have to make do with what I have. I don't want to waste m uh, real money right now on, on any customization, especially since I'm at the end of the game anyways, so fuck this. I'm not doing that. Uh, let me just sell that and uh, sell this shit as well. And eventually we'll get uh, enough so that I can get mods for this goddamn weapon. I do have enough to equip uh, to equip my, my element though now, which is pretty good. So that's what I wanted. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go, boys. All right, so got enough to equip my helmet on. That's good enough. Yeah. So now, uh, since I've got that, I can just do that. Unify the colors, and there we go. I've got my helmet back on, boys. All right, so we had uh, a couple of days where we didn't have my helmet, but now we have it, and everything's fine. Uh, this door is locked. That's great. So can we go on the other side then? It's got to be a one way or another that we can go. So it's probably this side. Yeah, that we had to go. All right. Let's get rid of these Republic assholes. All right. You're assaulting my client right here. So you better get the fuck out of here. You're in my way. Me just... I, I got to get paid. So you're not allowed to do any of this shit. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure they should they figured out I was gonna be here, so that's why they attacked him uh, or attacked uh, the lower uh, this Sith Lord's ship, just because they knew uh, we were working with them. That's probably what's going on here. All right, let's fight more of them. Why not? Let's go. That's what you want to do. Let's go. Let's do this shit. All right, we go ahead and uh, kill that guy. We're doing a lot of damage, but this guy as well, the Republic of Soul Droid, is doing a lot of damage himself. Just be careful right here. There we go, we're good. I do want to see what we unlocked right here. Or oh, some sort of glove. Uh, glove thing, alright. Do, what does he have? Oh, pretty much garbage stuff, I'm just gonna give him that. Alright, good. We are way good. I've got so many XP uh, things too, boys, which is ridiculous. I probably should... 
just uh, oh god why oh, why would you say that yeah. i probably should just get the xp thing yeah, then if i, I want to create a new character and everything i can just go to the own base and uh get that thing done oh my god come on no you don't you're about to create me a big time trouble my guy you almost killed me holy shit that's a lot of them boys all right uh i thought don't really care about him them but the republic is just in my way anyway so i gotta deal with them special forces dude they're, they really went all the way through with this one they went all the way through all right let me just go ahead and uh kill these guys really quick uh i'm gonna uppercut you uh, punch you there we go and uh we got this guy right here just use a couple of grenades here and there i'm just gonna use that because he's a big boy He's one of the uh, uh, big bosses and stuff. Okay, there we go. Man, you're definitely tough, my guy. Um, I'm gonna say that really not right now. Kind of tempted to use this, but I'm not gonna use the heroic moment. I'm not gonna waste it on you, that's for sure. Because it takes some time to reload. There we go, we got him. And let's get that droid right here. My god, there's a lot of them. That's a whole boarding thing, that's for sure. Let's go, boys. I don't know where this whole thing is. There should be... Usually when there's explosion uh, thingies. Means there's uh, people nearby. But I guess there's not uh, right now. So that's quite interesting. Alright boys we're good. I went ahead and got rid of them. We are near the bridge. Very near the bridge. Uh, very close to it. So all we need to do right now is complete the damage. Finish off these uh, last few remaining uh, troops. And droids that they sent uh, to fight us off. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Two uh, or two big time assault droids too. They really went through all the, that trouble just to, just for that one little ship. That uh, Sith Lords must be really important to them. I don't know, boys. They must be really important because otherwise I don't see the point of just getting all this, right? It's kind of ridiculous. And where's that Sith Lord, by the way? Because I, I'm wondering right now, what the hell is he doing? I mean, why the hell is it so easy for the Republic to just take his ship without him noticing or doing anything about it? There's, I don't see any Jedi's or whatever, so I don't see why they're struggling you must so be much. The bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. Everything's okay. I still expect payment. Just because he's dead doesn't mean this was a freebie. Oh yes, uh, of course. We're in your debt. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? Consider the taking off. Am I supposed to say no? Do I really have a choice? Well, I suppose not. Get those lower decks unsealed ASAP. All right then. Let's secure the bridge, boys. They're about to attack again. All right. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get the fuck out of here, boys. All right, let's uh, kill these guys off. Uh, I. It's interesting the fact that um, as melee, I guess you got a lot of range in melee stuff for the uh, bounty hunter. Because uh, really, it's it's really interesting because I got Mackle right, which is a range. Uh, Blizz is a range, I believe. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, Blizz, Mako, and Galt are all three of them are range. I think it's basically just a uh, Skadge and Torian that, uh, that are melee. But I feel like melee is a lot better for this class since you're already range yourself. So I feel like uh, having a melee dude, right, is uh, it's a lot better. I don't know, boys. Maybe it's just me. Let me go ahead and get all that money right now. Gotta prepare, we're gonna have another assault incoming. It's pretty easy, man. Uh, just spamming the same thing over and over again. Just gonna wait for these two to come in. It's a big boss right here. Mini boss. We're gonna take care of the, this uh, little assault droid first. Alright, let me go ahead and do all this. Alright, we're good. So I've now got a lot of bonuses equipped uh, uh, right now, so we should be good. Go uh, ahead and do this to finish him off uh, real quick. Now it's, uh, it's just this mini boss right here. We're good. Let's go. We almost got him, boys. No problems here. He's not gonna kill me. 
is not that tough. I mean, the only difficult part about him is that it's more health, uh, a little bit more health than the usual characters. But aside from that, he's not shit. There we go. He isn't worth anything. All right, that's enough. Yeah, all of you just die. Oh, there he is. About then time you showed up. My, my lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I, he, the, the captain's dead, sir, my lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no, we were sur- Well, you're about to, uh, to join him. Let him try it with his bare hands. I have you to thank for a ship. Let's get to the business, shall we? You wanted to discuss Corellia. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. The rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. Do you need prisoners? I'm sure that can be arranged. You pay me enough, I'll get them to sing. Capture will suffice. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. All right, are the sure bet? Well, how's this how exactly is this related to our deal? What's the rebellion got to do with Jun Siros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. Theros might not show. It's worth a shot. Well, Cyrus, he actually might not show, you know that? I've only seen Cyrus operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Crow. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. Alrighty then, if you say so. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Corellia. We do have a new rank up, a new uh, thing right here, cash. Let me just go ahead and uh, equip it. So we got a brand new gun. I don't think it's that good, so I'm just gonna disintegrate it. And uh, let's go. Next stop, Corellia, boys. All right, boys, we're in Corellia. I went ahead and um, equipped Torian because uh, I've got him the helmet. All right, I got the helmet on him now, and I actually got uh, an helmet. A Mandalorian helmet as well on uh, Mako. Uh, the why I did is basically I went to the cartel market and I transferred a copy from uh, the the suit that I already had for the Mandalorian armor, which I forgot I could do that. Uh, I fear, but I figured it out, so I can do that. So now we both have helmets and Mako as well. Consider can, can, she can consider herself some sort of Mandalorian. She doesn't have the full helmet, uh, the full. Um, armor yet, but if I give uh, give her the armor though, she's gonna get the same colors as me. So that's why I kind of don't want to do that. I want to keep her uh, the same, really. So first things first, though. I do want to hold on. I do want to see if I equip Mac over here. Hey. There we go. Uh, I want to see if she's gonna have the, the her colors, right? I want to see her colors. Unify the colors. There we go. I want to have the same color. So, all right. It looks like the helmet is going to be that color, which is interesting. Uh, it's fine, I guess. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's really that important. I think I'm just going to keep Torian. To be honest, I prefer Torian over her, anyways. So all let's right. just keep Torian right here, boys. Ready. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to General Craw. I know all my companions want to talk to me again, but uh, I just wanted to do the story right here. What are you looking at me for, uh, th like that for? What? Let's get on with this bounty hunter. Our troops to deploy. 
Darth Tormund demands that I dispatch you to capture Chairman Harlan Fane of the Corellian Corporate Council. Just point the way. Where can I find Chairman Fane? Fane and the other representatives have locked themselves up in their council tower in defiance of Imperial rule. His exact location isn't known, but it is likely that he and the other senior representatives are holed up in the tower's upper executive offices. All right, why don't you just drop me there then? Get me a shuttle and I'll take things from the top. The anti-aircraft coverage over in Corporation Island would atomize you immediately. Ground assault is the only option. Resistance will be heavy, but the Council Tower has several structural weaknesses we can exploit. The only thing stopping you from accessing the tower through the main lobby is sheer manpower. That's a long hide to the top. The more the merrier. Guards are, uh, guards are not an obstacle for me. So what you mean is, nothing's preventing me from accessing the tower. If battling heavily entrenched soldiers one flight of stairs at a time is no trouble, be my guest. The executive suites have a private lift that will bypass most of the intervening levels. It'll require an access key used by senior staff. Also, unless you'd like to be trapped inside a lift shaft, you'll need to attack the tower's security center and disable their lift override controls. This doesn't sound complicated at all. Compared to my other jobs, this'll be nothing. Hope so. No one will be coming to your rescue. And remember, you're to deliver Chairman Fane alive and intact. Dismissed. All right then. Why don't we just do that then? Let's go ahead and uh, get the security pass key so we can take out that chairman of theirs. Uh, first off, though, it's a level fifty, so this is definitely the last area where we gotta do stuff. Uh, we're definitely at the end of the the game right here, but uh, I want to end the video right here, guys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.